I'm going to spend a few moments uh, going over patient selection and disease states that we treat with HIPEC, cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC. The first question I think uh, that is asked by many patients is what is carcinomatosis? Because carcinomatosis is the disease that is probably most appropriately treated by cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC. Carcinomatosis is a term that doctors use to refer to tumors that have spread within the abdominal cavity. These tumors do not usually spread by the bloodstream, but are rather shed by the, tu the tumors, uh, the, the primary tumor, and uh, spread over the surface of the organs within the peritoneal cavity. It's usually not just one spot or one uh, lesion on the CT scan, but rather a diffuse type spread. What are the symptoms that patients can have from carcinomatosis? They may have crampy abdominal pain. They may have anorexia or poor appetite and weight loss. They could develop bowel obstruction, a fluid in the abdomen or ascites, inanition, which is a general overall weakness or infection. What are the treatment options for carcinomatosis? For many patients who develop carcinomatosis, they'll have all, several variety of options available to them. Perhaps the first that many will have is systemic chemotherapy or chemotherapy by vein. In addition, the treatments that we, uh, treatment with HIPEC and cytoreductive surgery um, are an option for patients with carcinomatosis, and that involves cytoreductive surgery and intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Why do we treat with local chemotherapy or HIPEC? It's because for many patients with carcinomatosis, the only site of the disease is the peritoneal cavity, the only place where the tumor spreads. We believe, and it has been shown, that delivery of chemotherapy into the abdomen allows increased dosage of the chemotherapy while limiting the amount of side effects from systemic exposure, as is usually seen with IV chemotherapy. What are the advantages of HIPEC? As I mentioned, it allows us to give more chemotherapy into the peritoneal cavity with limited exposure and toxicities. We get better distribution of the drug to, to the entire peritoneal cavity, and it allows us also to combine chemotherapy with hyperthermia or heat, and we think that this helps the chemotherapy work better. Who are patient, who's eligible for HIPEC? There are a variety of kinds of tumors that we treat with this uh, approach, and most of these tumors are tumors that have a primary mode of spread as carcinomatosis, and this includes appendiceal tumors, low-grade tumors of the appendix, which include PMP or adenomucinosis, or high-grade signet cell appendiceal tumors. Colon cancers, oftentimes spread by carcinomatosis as the only mode, and for patients whose tumors are limited to this, HIPEC may be a good option for them. Primary peritoneal mesothelioma is also a disease which is often treated by HIPEC and cytoreductive surgery. Many patients with ovarian or primary peritoneal cancer will also have HIPEC as an option during their treatment. For a limited number of patients in a select group with gastric cancer, HIPEC may also be a good option. Who's eligible for this? It's for patients, as I mentioned, with those, t with those tumors whose t tumors are confined to the peritoneal cavity. Because HIPEC and cytoreductive surgery only treats the abdominal cavity, this is a fairly important point. All our patients must have excellent performance status or be in good health because it requires a, a large, lengthy surgery. Um, we can't have them having any severe pulmonary or lung or heart conditions. And the patient must understand the treatment and its risk and benefits and be able to, and willing to accept the recovery period, which for some patients can be quite lengthy. Who needs systemic chemotherapy with HIPEC? As I mentioned, oftentimes we combine chemotherapy by vein. In this slide, you can see a depiction of those patients who we believe would benefit usually from combination of HIPEC and chemotherapy by vein. And that usually includes those patients with gastric, pancreatic, small bowel, or gallbladder. Colon and appendiceal tumors are often also treated with HIPEC and systemic chemotherapy. For those patients with mesothelioma or pseudomyxoma, HIPEC is off, and cytoreductive surgery is often the only mode of treatment. And for those patients, they, would, they may not receive IV chemotherapy.